Hello everyone, my name is Demita Levy and this is the maintenance and installation video for the Breeze Home Amenities Project. My team members for the project were Akib Shah, Yang Lu, and Tan Wei Khan. Our project integrates the Yelp Fusion API and anybody that wishes to install or begin working on the project, that is the first place they want to start. So as you can see, we created an account uh, at yelp.com slash developers. This account has our API key and I will not be sharing that key in this video because anybody that has access to the key will be able to use the key to access the API. And we have an increased limit on the API key. Uh, I think it's up from 25,000 to 50,000 requests per day, um, especially requested by us uh, via Yelp. So the professor should have access, but you don't necessarily need it. You can come to Yelp and create your own access key to gain access to the API. Now, the Yelp API, if we go here to Yelp Fusion, is an HTTP REST API. So it has a bunch of endpoints. You can actually access them from your browser as long as you have the API key and as you can see, if we go to uh, authentication here, they'll give you the instructions for using the uh, API key, which you have to get directly from them. And so what happens is once you sign up for an account, which I'm obscuring some of that information here, uh, you're going to end up with uh, an API key, client ID, and a client secret. The combination of the, the client ID and the client secret can be used to get you the API key. Once you have the API key, you're, one, you're going to want to familiarize yourself with the different endpoints that are available to you. So they're pretty much uh, all HTTP endpoints. Like I said, you can hit them from the browser. You can use something like curl to access them, which makes the, the installation actually very minimal because you can use whatever you want to get the data. But before you do that, you're going to need to run a authentication program. So we've created an authentication program, or rather an authentication module called Yelp Authentication that you can access from the Breeze API Django project. So assuming that you are actually in, um, you've actually run this command source PNB bin activate and you're in the virtual environment, uh, from the directory that has manage.py, you want to run python manage.py shell, and then it'll take you to the interactive console. Once you do that, you issue the following commands. You say from spotify.models import Yelp authentication. That will import the Yelp authentication class, which is already built out to retrieve the API key using the client secret ID and the client ID. So you just create a, uh, an object here, auth equal to Yelp authentication, and then say auth.authenticate. After you do that, it'll connect and it'll display the API key on the console, and you can copy and paste the API key uh, into Breeze Home or into Breeze Home environment variables. So we didn't use environment variables when we did it, but that would probably be the best thing to do going, to, going forward. The API key is actually available if you click on Manage App. They've recently added it so that you can just grab the API key so you don't actually have to use uh, the Yelp authentication module anymore. But just in case you want to automate the process, you can do that. And Yelp's, uh, Yelp uses OAuth authentication and the tokens do not expire until something like uh, 2238 or so basically, they don't ever expire in our lifetime. They did that so you don't have to keep on authenticating. You just do it once. Now, if you're going to work on the project, we have wrapped pretty much all the endpoints, so there's not that much to do. Um, we actually added the uh, API authentication token here, the key. And uh, I took it out because of security reasons but it does have to be a part of the uh, HTTP headers. So that's why you see uh, authorization barrier here plus the, act the access token. It has to be a part 
of the uh, authorization headers for the HTTP headers. And we've made some very easy functions that allow you to just make regular uh, Yelp query requests and add parameters. And most of the Yelp requests require an ID for that particular business if you want to get more details. We've already wrapped um, all of the APIs except for reviews. And um, if you wanted to add another API, you would just add it here. As you can see, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, simple to add another API. So you'd be, you, you just add uh, same thing like you would say class Yelp um, reviews view, and then uh, the URL from um, the API, and then it, it's the same. You know, you just change the variables here. So. To expose that to the Breeze Home desktop, you have to add that to um, the URLs. And so we have a bunch of URLs here that we can hit for each of the APIs. Now, as an example, imagine that you have already added your uh, Angular controller to app.js for the Breeze desktop project and you'd like to use one of the APIs. So I'm going to go to one of the projects, uh, one of the features that we worked on. This is uh, Yelp Direct. It has a couple of the uh, APIs. And so they're, they're pretty much called the same exact way. Uh, let's see. So if you go here, you can see like we have phone. It's always Yelp service dot phone. And then it will return whatever is specified in the Yelp API. Or here, here's one for business search, Yelp service dot search. And so we've already wrapped um, all of the APIs except for reviews. So if you want to continue the project, there's, there's literally no installation. Uh, all you need to do is add an Angular controller just like this. And then call one of the APIs that are here uh, in views by using Yelp service. And that completes the maintenance and installation video. Once again, my name is Demita Levy, and uh, thank you for watching.